You're watching Taste the Victory. I'm loving the crazy creative decks we are seeing in Booster Set 7, and here's yet another one with Machine Dramon. Kaiser Nail Blue Base Machine Dramon, may I add. If you're going to buy singles for this list, please consider using my TCGPlayer.com affiliate link in the description below. So the new card in Booster Set 7 that is mainly enabling this play is the new Chaos Dramon. Chaos Dramon is a level 6 that evolves over Machine Dramon for reduced cost. It is normally 4 to digivolve over a level 5 that is either red or black, but if we read its effect, we see that your Machine Dramon can digivolve into this card in your hand for a memory cost of 1, ignoring this card's digivolution requirements, and then when digivolving, you may place one red or black level 5 card with Cyborg and Straits from your hand or trash on top of this card's digivolution sources to delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 6000 DP or less for each level 5 card with Cyborg and its traits in its Digimon sources. So the amazing thing is that this card can digivolve over your already set up Machine Dramon for only one. That then enables you to Kaiser Nail out the Machine Dramon underneath it. Kaiser Nail says, For only a memory cost of four, main, choose a Digimon Digivolution card placed under one of your Digimon and play it as another Digimon without paying its memory cost. So then we look at Machine Dramon. Machine Dramon says, on play, you may place up to five level five red and or black cards with Cyborg in their traits and different card numbers from your hand and or trash in this Digimon sources to gain one memory for each card placed. All turns, this Digimon's DP can't be reduced. All turns, when this Digimon would be deleted, you may trash two level five Digimon cards in this Digimon sources to prevent this Digimon from being deleted. This is amazing because potentially, if you have the full trash set up for five level 5 red or black, you are putting 5 underneath this, therefore gaining 5 memory, which means if you are getting this out with the Kaiser Nail, you are actually plussing and going up 1 in memory compared to how much you paid for Kaiser Nail. This combo is hilarious, ridiculous, amazing, and momentum swinging to get a lot of momentum on your turn. I love this, it's amazing. We've seen results for this in Japan take a couple of locals, so like it can perform, but it definitely takes the right mindset with piloting it, and I say a really high skill level and ceiling for this deck. So let's go ahead and look through it. We see the stats are on. We have 14 ultimates in this deck, which are level fives compared to a more traditional deck list, just because this deck revolves around getting all those level fives in trash and therefore underneath Machine Dramon when you get its on play effect off. Some decks even go higher than this. You can cut some st stuff down in this list to up your ultimate list. 14 is, I think, like a little on the lower end. Most people run 15 to 16, so you could definitely cut some of these texts that we'll get to. But if we look at the eggs, we are doing a blue base. So that way we are always guaranteed a way to have Kaiser Nail live. In the Digimon TCG, you need a Digimon or Tamer of the corresponding color to be able to activate an option. In this case, your breeding area does count as long as there is a Digi Egg hatched in that zone or a Digimon Digivolved in that zone. So that's why we are running the blue base to make sure that it's always live. We don't even need to digivolve over it. It could sit there as a demi-V if we want. But we are running the demi-V mod because it has once per turn, this Digimon has jamming, trigger draw one when attacking. And since we're running four of BT3 of Vmon, which has jamming, that is almost always going to be live and getting us a free draw to gather our pieces. See, lets you be so aggressive with jamming early on in the game, and then your opponent has to waste time getting rid of him instead of attacking your security or your more threatening Digimon. We're also running the one of Shakumon because Shakumon is really cool in this meta because it has the effect opponent's turn, your opponents can't reduce the evolution costs. So this stops all the level five hybrids. The new Jet Selfiemon, the new Agunimon, this stops all those from digivolving for only one because they have the effect if they digivolve over a Digimon with a Tamer and its sources, reduce the cost by two. So a lot of these let you go into an ultimate for only one, which is huge tempo. So this makes them pay the full three costs for that. And that is a little helpful roadblock against those decks considering this is a slower deck and you want them to play at your pace. So the one of Siakomon is nice. You could also decide to play around with this ratio and drop Vmon down to three and have a three one split. But I like this just because it gives us that little bit higher chance to get our draw, that extra draw off of digivolving over a Digi Egg without digging into consistency of the rest of the list too much. Our only other rookie we are running is Hagurumon. Hagurumon is 3 to play, 2000 DP, and then on play you may trash one card with Machine or Cyborg and its traits in your hand to draw two. So this lets us dig through our pieces, which is amazing, and then we can also trash Machine or Cyborgs to get them into the trash for Machine Dramon's effect and have that synergy there. Great consistency while setting up our graveyard. We went over Siakomon already. Then we have Mechanorimon. It is only 4 to play for a champion, 6000 DP. However, keep in mind it is 3 to Digivolve over a rookie, which is a lot for a level 4, but it is a blocker that can't attack, 
But on opponent's turn, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle and survives, unsuspend it. So against something like Rookie Rush, if they can't remove this, this blocks all of their board forever. This is an incredibly important tempo card to keep up with those rush style strategies. Your opponent will never be able to swing with Bokumon as long as this is on the field until they can get rid of it. So this is a great roadblock to help you dig for your pieces while you get set up. Next up, our only other champion is Nanimon. Nanimon is a security Digimon. At the end of the security battle, play this card without paying its memory cost. So that is great to come out of security because that'll sometimes give us surprise lethal, but also it is only a three to play champion. Nanimon is only a three cost champion. They could also potentially give us momentum out of security. So we are running that. So if we see that instead of Hagurumon, we can still quickly play it out and start Digivolving up to our Machine Dramon. Next up, we got our ultimate lineup. We are already at the ultimate lineup. We've run 14 of these because of the gimmick of Machine Dramon. First up is Giga Dramon. This is from Booster Set 6. Your turn, this Digimon is also treated as red. We are not running any red options, so that's not really too big of a deal for us. But it can Digivolve over a red or black level 4, 7,000 DP. And an opponent's turn, Inheritable, this Digimon gets plus 2,000 DP. This card is great to be able to give you that much extra DP and make your Machine Dramon an even bigger blocker on their uh, turn. After that, we got Volcanomon. Volcanomon has the Inheritable. Your turn, while your opponent has an unsuspended Digimon in play, this Digimon gains security attack plus one. We previously ran more of this in older sets, but because our entire top end is only machines now, it, uh, we're maxing out more on the other Gigadramon instead of, or rather Megadramon, instead of this one, so it's a little bit easier to pull off now rather than hoping your opponent has an unsuspended Digimon in play. Still great for that security attack plus one though. Next up, we got Andromon. Andromon has one Digivolving. You may reveal the top three cards of your deck. Add one level six Digimon card with Machine and its traits among them to your hand. Trash the remaining cards. So this now lets us grab the new Chaos Dramon. So it has even more targets to hit now, but also it trashes your other targets that you don't grab. That is amazing in this deck because you want those cards in trash. Next, we have Metal Tyrannomon. When Digivolving, it has the exact same effect, so it's good to have more of those so we can dig for our level 6s. If we're not seeing them, we're also filling up our trash for Machine Dramon's gimmick. Then it has the Inheritable. When this Digimon has Machine in its traits, it gains Reboot, which is fantastic to be able to swing on our turn and then still block on their turn. I believe I forgot to read the Inheritable on, on Andromon, but it has the same thing, except now it gains Blocker. So that's really great, but we have the uh, other Giga Dramon, or rather the other Mega Dramon that'll give us... Uh, blocker as well. This is just specific to the archetype. Next we got Metal Mamemon, same search effect which is great, and then it has the Inheritable. When attacking, if this Digimon has Machine, it is traced to leave one of your opponent's Digimon with a play cost of 5 or less. Good to get rid of certain blockers. Next is Mega Dramon. Mega Dramon has the Inheritable Blocker, just a generic blocker. So it's really good because it is generic, doesn't have to meet the requirements of Machine that uh, Andromon has, and since we have level 7s in this deck, this is the one you want to prioritize going into, because once you have a level 7 with Blocker, thanks to Megatramon, it becomes very hard for your opponent to start putting any pressure on your security. This card's amazing. Then it's the red Megatramon from Booster Set 6, uh, Inheritable. On your turn, this Digimon gets plus 2000 DP. So this is good if you want to be more aggressive on your turn as well. It's nice to have the option between those two. Megatramon is next. On play, delete up to two of your opponent's Digimon with 3000 DP or less. Its main effect isn't anything special. We probably will never use it, but considering we are going to end up having to hard slam a lot of our Digimon because of no breeding area that is black, then this is a nice, you know, bonus effect there. It's Inheritable is your turn, while well, Digimon has Machine and its traits, it gains Security Attack plus one. So more Security Attacks to let us be aggressive is fantastic and what we want to double up on. Next up is Metal Greymon. When attacking, when this Digimon attacks a player, deal you one of your opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. Likely this will never come up, but the Inheritable is why we run it. While this Digimon has Machine or Dragonkin in its types, it gains Piercing. This is fantastic to let us gain Piercing on Machine Dramon. So if we have a blocker on our opponent's side, we don't have to worry about it. And even if they don't, we could swing over their Digimon and still gain pressure uh, by checking away at their security. Machine Dramon went over at the start of this video. It is incredibly powerful. It is only three to Digivolve into, and you will be Digivolving normally uh, at the beginning of this duel while you fill up your trash. You're not just like hard slamming Machine Dramon right away. You know, you have to build up to that strategy. So that's good to be able to Digivolve over a black or red level five for only three. He still uh, has great inheritables, even if you don't get the crazy effect off. The fact that he has protection against DP reduction is fantastic in a meta where yellow hybrid is expected to be one of the best decks. And then he also has other protection too. When it would be deleted, you could just trash two level fives, which synergizes up for the next Kaiser Nail you decide to play. It's crucial. We need to run it at four. As well as Chaos Shaman is the th main thing enabling Machine Shaman Kaiser Nail, so we absolutely need this as four as well. The ability to delete something on Digivolution is always also a nice bonus. Unfortunately, it is four to go into, so you definitely want to try and hold these for your uh, Machine Shaman Digivolution if you can. Do have Onimon Sword Defeat. This card is incredibly powerful because it can play itself out of security, and then in a Tamer heavy format, actually delete Tamers on Digivolution. 
When Digivolving, delete one of your opponent's Tamers. On deletion, delete one of your opponent's Digimon. So not only can this remove Tamers, which is great in this meta, it can also delete your opponent's Digimon when deleted, so it becomes kind of like a bomb that your opponent has to debate getting rid of. I love this card. It's so threatening and does so much. It's so much roll compression. This card's fantastic. It's also important to note a fun combo. A lot of the reason people don't like Omnimon Sword too much is because it takes really long to get up to it just to delete one Tamer. However, once we do hit that Chaos Shaman, we can Kaiser Nail out the Machine Shaman, and right away we are ready to go into another Omnimon Sword if we run it. So that is great synergy there to be able to delete Tamers faster that way. Especially if you have the full trash set up and you actually gain memory. Or even if you just have four, playing Kaiser Nail for zero, and then you could pass turn by Digivolving into Omnimon Sword Defeat, and then delete a Tamer. That is fantastic to up the speed of Omnimon Sword. There's great synergy throughout this entire deck, and I love this about the Digimon TCG. There's so much crazy jank that comes together to create a cool, actually viable deck like this. Next up, we got one Omnimon X. So this is a really powerful card because you can Digivolve over a Digimon. Your Digimon with Omnimon in its name can Digivolve into this card in your hand for a memory cost of three, ignoring this card's Digivolution requirements. When attacking, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with DP less than or equal to this this Digimon's DP. So if they don't have any protection, this is deleting basically everything in the game at that huge DP threshold, especially if you have any boost under it. And then opponent's turn, when your opponent's Digimon attacks, you may trash two of this Digimon's sources to end the attack. Fantastic, especially in the Jessmon uh, matchup, which I believe people are really underrating in this meta. I think it's a great meta call. We'll definitely get to it on the channel soon. And being able to shut that down is fantastic. And a plenty of other decks that want to be swinging like, um, the green hybrids. So this is a fantastic card to synergize with your own last word to feed. One of because it is a little bit situational, but when it does hit the field, it is really great um, wall just to stop your opponents. You could definitely play around with your level set up seven lineup as well. You might even want to go up on this, honestly, because of that Kaiser Nail ability to be able to get another level six out so quick and go into another level seven. Your level sevens almost become kind of a more utility toolbox that way. So definitely play around with this, up the ratios that you would like. Um, Omnimon Alter S is definitely also a viable option in this since you only are running red and black level sixes. Ultimate Connection is one cost. It lets you trash one level five card with Cyborg in his tracer in your hand to gain two memory and draw one. This is great memory manipulation, something any deck would always want, like how blue has Hammer Spark, and you also get to draw, fill up your trash, amazing card that you need to run at four to be able to get through this deck's um, setup. Okay, so now we've talked about it many times, and the great thing is that security even activates its main effects. We got Ty as our memory tamer, he's four to play, guarantees you three memory at the start of your turn, and then opponent's turn, all of your black Digimon get plus 1000 DP. So with all of the inheritables and this card, your machine Digimon can become a pretty huge blocker on your opponent's turn. Fantastic tamer. And then we got two analog youth to round out the list. On play, reveal the top three cards of your deck, add one Digimon card among them to your hand and trash the remaining cards. So similar to Hagurubon and all these other cards in here, it trashes while also searching. Fantastic synergy to fill up your trash and then hurry up and get to your drop, your combo pieces. It also has the ability when one of your level five or higher Digimon with Digivolution cards is deleted, you may suspend this tamer. If you do, gain one memory and hatch one Digi Egg to an empty space in your breeding area. Fantastic card that I even suggest you could consider upping to uh, three, just because that synergy to search and trash and then gain memory as well, potentially when your one your Digimon gets deleted is amazing. You can maybe cut down on one of your rookies and up this, one of your blue rookies and up this, or maybe even an ultimate connection since it kind of performs similar tasks. So that is going to be the list. That's kind of like a bit of an overview of the combos and the synergies that they have, the kind of stuff you could do and abuse with Kaiser Nail and quickly get up to level sevens and all that. It is amazing. Definitely play around with this list. This is definitely a list of creativity. You choose your ultimates, you know, because there's some uh, we're not running in here. Even maybe play with your rookie lineup. Play with your level seven lineup. There is so much open in this deck for you to uh, mix and match and customize with. And that is the cool thing about Machine German. If you're looking for something different in this format, consider giving it a shot. It's amazing. I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, remember to stay hungry until you get a taste of victory.